Ahora conoceremos otra gran parte de las carreras de caballos, su soundtrack natural, es decir, la voz detrás de la emocionante acción en pista. A field of nine, number four, he did it his way, is two pounds over. Eight, Mr. Fahrenheit, make the jockey Jose Alvarez. Win plays show, exact the trifecta, superfecta, daily double and late pick three wagering. Post time for race number six is seven minutes away. Post time at 3.30. They're all in line. And they're off. Was well, a level beginning. From the center, Potichan wins the break and goes looking for the lead down toward the inside. They're all in line. And they're off. El anunciador interno de Gulfstream Park y Hialeah Park, Peter Aiello, nos abrió las puertas de su sala de transmisión y ahí conoceremos qué hay detrás de su arte. Mr. Fahrenheit, that's the nine of them with a quarter of a mile to go, and Potichan and Juan Lopez continue to lead it toward the outside in second as he. The biggest thing about it is you have to be able to memorize the horses, and uh, you know we have 90 some horses a day, so I have to memorize 90 horses. But at the same time, I have to forget uh, 80 of the horses. You know, moving from one race to the other and making sure that a horse in the second race doesn't actually make it into the third race call. I think that's the biggest thing: keeping them straight and keeping everybody uh, all the names correct. That's that's definitely the biggest uh, challenge. Yeah, a lot of times, you know, I work down at Hialeah Park in South Florida also, and it's much more of a Latin, uh, Latin American community down there. So I learn all of the names, whether they're good things or bad things, uh, from hanging out with the folks at Hialeah that helps me a lot with uh, the pronunciation of the Spanish names. Um, but, you know, every once in a while you just kind of have to guess or you'll get something wrong. But a lot of times what I find enjoyable is, is I look at the names, um, Uh, you know, El Gato Prado, which I know means, you know, Prado's cat or the cat Prado, you know, so you can kind of understand uh, what the names mean in Spanish and then use the Spanish or the English translation to have fun with the call. El Jefe Grande, uh, you know, the big boss. Well, uh, when I'm announcing the race, I'll announce, you know, it's El Jefe Grande, the big boss is in front. And folks associate the El Jefe Grande, which meaning the big boss. So, you know, it's fun when you can kind of use both languages like that. Peter Aiello es el locutor y director de la difusión simultánea en Hialeah Park y locutor de Gulfstream Park. Se graduó de la Universidad de Arizona en su programa de la industria del hipódromo de Arizona y tuvo la oportunidad de relatar carreras en Rilito Park, Tampa Bay Downs y en River Downs. I've been going to the races since I was a little boy. I have pictures of me at the racetrack in Hialeah when I was three years old. So. For me, there's nothing in the world I'd rather be doing. And as an example of that, when I'm not working, I'm usually at another racetrack. So um, for me, it's, you know, it's the best job in the world for me because I'm so passionate about horse racing and I love racing and the racing of uh, horses so much that uh, it's no better job than getting to bring that enthusiasm and create that excitement with the folks with the race calling as well. Well, I think they have the drive. I think that uh, they have an innate sense of knowing when to make the decisions and what the good decisions are. It's, it's something that you can't really describe. You know, it's a talent, it's a gift. Either you have it or you don't. And the folks from Venezuela sure seem to have it. Like you mentioned, Castellano, he's one of the best. And uh, I think a lot of thing about it too is, is they're students of the game. So they're always trying to get better and they're trying to be the best. And that drive to be the best sets them apart from everybody else. I have to say Castellano for sure. I'm a South Florida guy, so I can remember when he came here from Venezuela and rode at Calder and at Hialeah and at Gulfstream before he was the big name rider. You know, everybody remembers Javi. If you're a South Florida guy from the days riding with Cornelio Velasquez and, and uh, Ali Barcoa and guys like that, uh, now he's on the big stage um, and everybody's trying to get to him. So it, it was fun as a South Florida guy to get to see him to go from here all the way up to the top. That was, that was a fun experience. With room inside, he did it his way, is next in T's two-step. Potichan came up top. Spa City Treasure is second in gaming ground, but he's running out of time. It's Potichan. Hang on. Y desde la propia meta de llegada, ya regresamos con mucho más de Desde el Paddock. 